Number 27, off the same page we've been working on. So number 27. There we go. Um, so here's a parallelogram. The base is given as x plus 7 units. And the height is given as x minus 3. And the question is, what's the area? Well, what's interesting is this exact problem is in geometry right now. Like, they're doing this problem on their test because they're focused on the area formula. You guys are focused on the multiplying it out once you get it. Yeah. But here's the thing. This is fair game for the test because you guys are expected from your pre-algebra and your algebra readiness classes to remember that the area of a rectangle or parallelogram rectangle or parallelogram is equal to the base times the height. So in this case, the base is no, it's not x squared minus 21. In fact, it's that very mistake that tends to get people in trouble with these problems. You can't just look at these two binomials and distribute them and go, oh yeah, I just do blah and multiply the x's and then multiply the numbers. You have to distribute it all the way out. And that's why, where I get my x squared plus negative 3x plus 7x minus 21. Now that, remember, when I distribute, there's my x squared. There's my negative 3x. Here's my 7x. And here's my negative 21. And that's the kind of thing we've been practicing, distributing those out. You could also, because it's two binomials, call it a FOIL problem. But again, I, I, I don't like using the word too much because it doesn't work when it's not binomials. When you go to larger systems, that breaks down. And then I combine my like terms. So these guys combine into 4x. So I'm left with x squared plus 4x minus 21. And that expression represents the area of this parallelogram. It mostly comes back to, do you remember this initial formula back here for the area of a parallelogram? And that also applies to rectangles. You have to have that as part of your, your toolbox. That's not something I can, I can keep reteaching. You just got to kind of remember it. That one and triangles is another good one to always have handy. Or if a triangle is what? Base times height divided by 2, yeah. Half of a rectangle, which you can kind of think of it as. Do I want to test Nope, not right now. But I'm glad you know it, because that means you're ready for that test. What is it? Base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2. You got it. So you're ready. We'll go easy now, see if you remember the regular polygon one. Are we good here? More questions on that? What can I talk about? Okay, cool.